YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Friday afternoon. Thank God it's Friday. Here in the Eastern time zone of the USA, it's 21 Zulu, and uh, we're on November 19th, 2021. It's time for the weekend special. The weekend special is a show you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes we have interesting guests. Sometimes we just have interesting stuff. And today is interesting stuff. So let's get right to it. And uh, I'm going to share the screen. And uh, we're going to pull up a PowerPoint. And we are going to start right from the beginning. We're going to talk about, you know, you've heard me talk about how important it is to bond all of your equipment together. And this is one of my favorite products. Uh, this is made by Erico. This is the Copper Station Ground Bar. And this can be your single point ground. And uh, you, you notice that it has lots of holes in it. So you can bring your wires, or hopefully it's uh, DX Engineering Tin Copper Braid, right to this bar. And everything is bonded together so everything is at the same voltage potential and that's what we want to do and here you can see in in service here at k3lr uh, with the dx engineering tin copper braid and also the two inch strap there on the left hand side and i like to use copper or bronze hardware because it's highly conductive and notice I'm using the external tooth lock washers. And if you can't find this hardware at DX Engineering, McMaster Car has it. And uh, we'll, we'll be handling more and more of this hardware. But that this is the way to properly bond things together so that the voltage potential is equal across all of the things in your station. And uh, notice the strap connection that, that goes to the ground rod. Here's another example, strap connection to the ground rod, which happens to be right underneath the radios here at K3LR. But I know some, some installations that you have don't have that luxury, but just get to the copper ground rod as quickly as you can and use the one inch tin copper braid inside use only with the bronze or brass hardware. And so here's the, the tin copper braid from DX Engineering with the lugs already on it, heat shrink uh, to protect the, the solder connections. And using also the RG400, RG400 cable, which has got great isolation. Here's the RG400. We have this in popular lengths. Uh, again, this has got the Amphenol. 83 1SP connectors on it already, but it's just beautiful. And if you see the yellow strips here, that's a DX engineering cable and a very high quality RG400. And uh, even though it's small in diameter, that's no problem because the dielectric is Teflon. And so it, it can handle 1500 watts. One of the things that I do is uh, during any one of the operating events is I make notes. I make a lot of notes. Each contest that, that happens here at K3LR has a note card for it. And I keep track of this. And this, this is where, um, you know, because you can't remember things. And so uh, it's very important to have these cards and uh, just get a, a pack of note cards and have them close to your operating position and if you think there is something you can improve or that needs fixed, write it down. Write it down. You know, things like uh, replace the RG8X shorting relay in the Comtex. All right. Um, check the gain of the four square receive versus eight circle high Z. All sorts of great things. Uh, there are tons of ferrite here at K3LR. Remember that every cable in your station can be an antenna. And uh, the, the way to combat that is by using ferrite. And when you see the color codes, 
you know it's DX Engineering Ferrite. Uh, blue, my favorite color, number 31. The 31 Ferrite, best for HF performance. And using uh, the Ferrite here, on this is on one of the cables here at K3LR. And using uh, cable ties to make sure that everything stays tight. More ferrite, this time on the coax, uh, going into the DLW filter. More ferrite on the DC lines. Number 31, DXE blue. More ferrite, this time on the power to the, uh, the Intel Nook computers. And uh, th this was the prototype of the DX Engineering ISO Plus. And uh, that knocks down all the Ethernet birdies. The ISO Plus. Again, this is the prototype. Uh, the actual product looks much better than this. But I'm still running the prototypes here. They're fine. And uh, you see, here's, here's an Ethernet switch with all of the ISO Pluses that are connected to each one of the computers that are connected to this switch. Look at this. This is what lightning does. This is what water does to a, a, a connector. And you don't want your connectors to look like this. This is really bad. All right. So this is a bad PL259. It's had water in it. And uh, there's been power applied. And it is shorted out. And even over time, good coax goes bad. You Coax does not have an, an infinite life. It doesn't. I don't care how well you weatherproof it. You have to replace it because it will go bad. And especially on rotation loops around the rotator. And, uh, you know, take a look at this. This is, this is coax where one nick and water got in and turned the shield black. And it did not work very well. And in fact, coax shields will break at the rotation loop. Look at the corrosion on this SO239. You want them to look like this. Look at this. Here's a station where the shields are just shoved into the back of the PL259. There's no solder, nothing. This is not correct. And this will cause problems. One way to do it is to solder the shield over to the back of the connector. It has to be a silver plated connector, but this works very well. If you, Because I don't like soldering through those holes because I melt the uh, dielectric. So I solder over the back. Good quality connectors. DX engineering connector or the trusty Amphenol 83 1SP. You're not going to see this for a dollar a piece like you do with the Hamfest. Why? Because it's a great connector. Silver plated. All of the tolerances are held. Nice uh, fittings. Everything. It's just a beautiful connector, but you're going to pay more than the Hamfest specials and for good reason. Make sure you use the, the channel lock CNL 426. Tighten all your connectors. Here's a, a great butt splice that we have at DX Engineering that allows you to uh, actually heat this up and it solders it. And uh, then you've got heat shrink right over it. It's great. Lightning rods, very important at the top of your tower. We have these at DX Engineering. And also, if you're taking out your rotator and you need to hold your mast, we have a mast lock. And also... The bearing bypass, and this is really important, reduces noise, reduces RFI, because all, all these things need to be firmly connected to the tower. Look what came into DX Engineering today. Unbelievable. Lightning hit on the Comtech four square. This is what lightning does. It turns everything black. Look, look at this. Just terrible. Lightning, lightning damage, Comtech Foursquare. And we're, we are repairing it. You know how we're repairing it? We're throwing this board away. 
and uh, we're going to keep the chassis, but that's about it. Burned up all the traces. This is why you disconnect. Lots of uh, lots of trouble here, but I thought you might enjoy seeing what comes into DX engineering on a daily basis. And so let's see what's going on in the chat room and uh, go back to. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what's going on. We got uh, Kilo November 4 Tango Echo Echo. And that's Wayne from Tennessee. And also Billy, W3LAB from Indiana County, Pennsylvania. Whiskey 9 Uniform Sierra. Hello, Ed. And Greg, Kilo Kilo 6 Sierra Tango Tango. And my good friend Ron, KC5 Quebec Charlie Victor from Edmond, Oklahoma, where I lived for 14 years. And uh, Ron, wishing you the best. And uh, from Des Moines, Iowa, it's Kilo Echo Zero India Alpha Victor from Denmark and Copenhagen, Oscar Zulu 4 Papa Alpha Tango. Dino says, uh, this is Kilo Lima Zero Sierra. He says, putting together a station engineering manual is a lifesaver and keeps us from having to reinvent the wheel. So true. A good notebook. That uh, That's great, Dino. November 8, India Whiskey and Wooster. Thanks, Tim, for another informative weekend special. Great information. Tom says, this is Whiskey Bravo 9, Delta Zulu Sierra. Grounding and lightning protection is the most important wiring there is for an amateur radio station. It's easy deployment, easy to install, has the benefits of safety and uh, reduced or elimination of RFI. It's amazing how many hams bypass or skip this critical step. Tom, I couldn't have said it better. And thanks so much for being here. Gino, Kilo Golf 7, Papa, Oscar United. And uh, Greg, doing a webcast just on ferrite use would be valuable. Uh, Greg, that's a, a good idea, and we can do that. And uh, our, oh, our friend uh, Al. Oh, no, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Let's see here. Wayne, don't forget the old balance. Check old balance. He found out the hardware. K8 Fox Fox and uh, Wayne, big shout out to you. Monday, this coming Monday, is your first day as a DX Engineering employee. Congratulations, Wayne. We're happy to have you on the team. And if you want to join Wayne on the DX Engineering team and you live in Ohio, Nevada, Texas, or Georgia, go to the DX Engineering website and uh, take a look at the employment opportunities, just like Wayne did. And uh, Wayne, we're going to hear you on the phone soon, and we're so proud to have you join the team. Uh, let's see who else we have on today. Uh, it's Al, November 8, Golf Uniform Yankee. Al, we hope we see you for breakfast tomorrow morning. And um, Al is a new ham who's having a lot of fun. Al just got his first amplifier and uh he is uh he's on the air loud and proud now lima united eight alpha juliet mike from argentina excellent uh your performance and also from chile charlie echo three victor echo mike and nice to have you on prime also from the netherlands pop alpha three fox x-ray oscar gunter delta kilo five oscar norway victor and uh, from Benbrook, Texas, Kilo Golf 5, Juliet Poppy United. And uh, Frank says, is the new crimp connectors better than soldering method that you use? Frank, the new crimp connectors are really good. And uh, I do have them here at K3LR. Um, I do like soldering. I'm, you know, I'm old school. I've uh, been a ham for almost 50 years now, Frank. But uh, I've got lots of crimps here. So the new DX Engineering crimp connectors are very good. Dan, Whiskey Alpha 4, Mike Oscar Mike says, hello, Tim. Even if you solder through the holes of the PL259, the higher quality connectors are easier to solder through the holes. They are, uh, Dan, but every once in a while, you melt the dielectric, and that's why I like going over the back. Uh, Kilo Kilo 6 India Papa Radio from Fremont, California. Also, uh, Kilo Delta 6 Charlie Whiskey India. Uh, great topic, Tim. Awesome products will last for a lifetime if taken care of. Absolutely right. And uh, SkyQuest says, Mucho congrats to Wayne. 
Kilo 8 Fox Fox, and Whiskey 6 Charlie Radio Tango. And we need a store in Southern California. We need a store in every, <laughs> everybody wants a store. Um, we've got great stores in uh, Talmadge, Ohio, and in Sparks, Nevada. You can pick up in Sparks, and uh, we've got uh, the team has got the showroom back open in Talmadge. November 9, Bravo, Alpha, Victor, and uh, SkyQuest says uh, uh, that's a great idea. Hit that like button. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Hit the like button. And uh, so we had a good time here today. It's the weekend. What's not to love about the weekend? And so glad to have everybody on. Get on the air this weekend. Uh, the ARRL phone sweepstakes is on the air. And uh, that's tomorrow afternoon, and it goes through Sunday night. Uh, a great chance to say hello to old friends and maybe meet some new friends. And uh, call in next week and talk to Wayne, K8 Fox Fox. And uh, let's see here. We have a few more. Uh, Ruben uh, he says, uh, purchase your DX Engineering Coax 400 and RG8X. Every ham that seems your coax are quality built. You visually see a big difference from the other coax. Absolutely, Ruben. This is the stuff we use here at K3LR. And it's high quality. Uh, we work very hard to get the best of the best. And uh, let's see. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, let's see. Dave, Whiskey 6 Charlie Radio Tango. He says, Sparks, Nevada is only three and a half hours away. And the great thing about going to Sparks to the DX Engineering Pickup is you're inside the Summit Racing Store, which is a tremendous place in Sparks, Arlington, Texas, and McDonough, Georgia, as well as the headquarters in Talmadge, Ohio. Next week, Tuesday, with uh, Tim and Jeff, we'll have another great show. Uh, actually, next week, we're going to take a break because it's Thanksgiving week. So no shows next week, okay? No shows next week, but we'll see you the week after. And uh, greetings from November 3, Juliet Delta Steelman. We'll see you at breakfast tomorrow morning. And thanks very much for being in the chat. November 3, Juliet Delta. Until next time, 73 from DX Engineering.